on every reading. I am like sweating. I should be in the tropics. I had to move in front of a door where I have all manners of little animals that are trying to get in the house. So if I jump up and run, <laughs> you're going to know why. Because I do not like bugs and I get centipedes that come in my bathtub. It's just horrific. This is for Aquarius for the month of August 2019. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You just found the channel. Welcome. I hope you like the reading. If you do, subscribe and hit the thumbs up. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. You know I love you. I love all the guys who have stuck with me and supported me over the past year and a half, two years since I started my channel. So this is for Aquarius for the month of August 2019. It's for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know overall for the month? Overall, overall. Then we will probably go into love and money. Love and money. Love for Aquarius overall. Let's start here. Whew. We have Major Arcana and the Chariot. Let's take these two. They both wanted to come. We have Major Arcana Judgment. And we have Major Arcana the Three of the Three of Pentacles. Ooh, trying to negotiate a new start, but you don't even know what you're starting on. You don't know where you're starting off. You don't know the starting point. You don't know when this, when the runners are down on your march, get set, go, and that gun pops. You don't want to make a false start. You don't want to jump the gun. You don't want to make a move before you know the outcome or the viability of the solution. You don't want to make a false start, but you're on the starting line and you're ready to take off, but you don't even know where you're going to take off to. <laughs> but you're ready to take off somewhere. You are ready to take off and you are negotiating it. With this three of pentacles and major arcana judgment, you are negotiating a new start, a fresh start. You just don't know where it's at. So it could just be that a new start, a fresh start is on the horizon and you feel it feel this need for a change and the change has to be negotiated there's something that will require a little bit of a give a little bit of a take a little bit of a compromise you take this I take this I'll do this for you you'll do this for me you can go here you can stay here yeah what will be the price what will I get how much will you pay me uh, does it look good or should I do this over here it's like that so you're considering your options. That was a really long way to go. We have the little six of cups. And we have the four of swords. So the overall energy is something like somebody who they want to make a change, but they're still very much reliant on the world that they see today for them. Meaning that six of cups. They don't want to make too much change. Or it could be that they a little bit want to have it all. They want to have a lover. They want to be in love. They want to have a new relationship, for instance. Brand new love, this emotion that you have in the Six of Cups. When you have a new lover and everything's all fresh and new and sparkly and easy. Yeah. But then they also want to have stability. That you see in the, uh, believe it or not, in the Four of Swords. They want a stability there. And you can't have it both. You take a new lover, you have a new love. You go with an old lover, old partner, you know what you're getting. That's also with the, with the major arcana, the chariot. Trying to decide and kind of wanting to have your cake and eat it too with this three of pentacles. You know, with this major arcana judgment. Wanting to start over, but not really wanting to start over. Wanting to start over with a lot of security. Let me tell you a weird story, Aquarius. Think about... This is going to be weird, but a few different ways and a few different things coming through. If you're a person in this life, you have a lot of money, you have all the riches, you have everything that anybody would ever want in this plane where we are. And then you die and you're no, you, you have a choice. You're an older person, you want to keep all your money and keep all your wealth, but you're coming towards the end of your life. 
or do you want to be reborn? But if you're reborn, you start from scratch with this Major Arcana judgment and Major Arcana the chariot. You start from scratch. Oh, can I take all my money with me? No. Or you're really beautiful and really gorgeous and everybody wants you and you have the best relationships. And again, you have to start over from scratch, from new, and take the risk. Oh, I want to take all that with me. No, you're starting over. I don't know how you're going to look in this life. You might look like a beast. Not to say anything's wrong with looking like a beast, but you got the point. You have to make a decision. You have to make choices. You can't have it all. It's just how it is, Aquarius. What else do we have for Aquarius? It's a big message in that, you guys. Go back and listen if it escaped you. But I know you're Aquarius and you're really smart, so I know it didn't escape you. You know what I'm talking about, Aquarius. You know. You know. Come on now, guys. Be hate. It's for Aquarius. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Messenger of Fire. This is like the Knight of Wands. And we have the Three of Pentacles again. More or less coming on the same spot. Trying to negotiate power could be trying to negotiate for something that you don't want to work for. You don't want to make any sacrifices. You don't want to take any risks. That's all that's written over this reading. You've got to take a risk. What's behind door number one, door number two? You go behind door number one. It's good enough. You like it. Somebody says, okay, you can go look at door number two or door number three, but you have to give up what you have about door number one. And you're like, no, I want to hold on to door number one and see the other things before I decide. No, no, no. Aquarius, can't do that. That's not how the energy is supporting you. Sometimes the energy can be like that. But for August 2019, it's like you got to be brave with this Knight of Wands. And you have to, you know, go after it. You have to go after what you want and, and in a way... Show your level of dedication and belief in yourself by saying, okay, I put that aside, I go after this. I'm going to take the risk, see how it comes out. Nothing risks, nothing gained. You know, big risks, big gains. Something like that. Calculated risk with the Four of Swords. Don't just do anything crazy. Be calculated about it. Plan, look, strategize. That's all what I have for Aquarius. So... For Aquarius for love. Sweating like <laughs> I'm sweating like I could just be out somewhere like working for <laughs> so crazy. So for love for Aquarius for the month of August. Ooh. For Aquarius for the month of August, we have the three of cups. We have Major Arcana. We have Major Arcana, the Strength. And we have a Ten of Cups. Someone who doesn't want to go out, someone who doesn't want to meet people, it's like they're forced to go out for whatever reason, they're forced out, they're forced out of their comfort zone. Going outside of your comfort zone will bring big rewards. Going outside of your comfort zone will bring you some type of a big re reward. That could be for a relationship, going out, you get out, and then you have a great time, and it could be that you make a new connection, make a new friend, have a great exchange with somebody, um, also loosen up a little bit, Aquarius. This is also something about loosen up, relax, relax, enjoy life, smell the roses. Uh, don't be so serious, chill out. There's something like that in here too, you know, just chill out. At some point, there's only so much that you can do and then you have to let the reins go. We have the king of wands. We have the Ace of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
And we have the six of pentacles. You want to know that before you make the move to be with this person, you want to know that they're all in. Sometimes you don't have those guarantees. It looks like there is a person where they are interested in you, where you can have some fun, but you may not get a commitment. You want to, you want a commitment. They may not be ready to commit with this 10 of wands and the ace of wands. It's like an infancy pay phase and they don't know even if they're ready to make that level of commitment is something like that here for Aquarius. But they want to know with the Six of Pentacles, hey, are we going to get serious after this? Like after the deed is done, okay, you're going to call me. You guys don't take it that seriously, but it is something like that here. So let's look at finally a job and money for Aquarius for the month of whew, August. If I faint while I'm doing the cards, you guys just virtually pick up my head and throw water on it. <laughs> oh my god. This is for Aquarius for money for the month of August 2019 for Aquarius. Oh. We have oh, Major Arcana the Empress. We have the Ten of swords and we have the ace of cups <laughs> this could be an Aquarius I'm not laughing at you but it, it feels funny because it feels like everything's going to be okay but this is an Aquarius who might have to make some sacrifices for their family or kids that they really don't want to make that could be of their money that could be of their time and resources whatever their kids if Aquarius has kids, it looks like they're getting on their nerves. Um, on a basis point, if you don't have kids, it could be like for your own livelihood, you have to invest some money. Um, I don't know, maybe your car needs to be repaired. You didn't really plan that money that you have for vacation, you have to take to put on your car. Or you were say, saving for some type of a medical procedure or a cosmetic procedure, and now you got to use the money temporarily on something else more serious with the Ten of Swords. But in the end, it's going to be okay because you have that Ace of Cups. You might have to save up a little bit because you have a little hit to your spending. But it's for a good cause. It's for a good reason. Um, there. You know, that's what I see there. We have the Magician. Let's leave it there. Major Arcana Magician. You see, in the end, it's all going to be okay, so don't lose too much sleep over it. People could also be coming back and giving you money that they borrowed from you. People coming back and repaying you for helping them out with something, putting a little money in your pocket for this or that. That could be the flip side of it with Major Arcana kind of Magician here. So Aquarius, I hope you guys like that reading. You know the deal. If you did, just let me know about it. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. Be my friend. I love you guys. I love Aquarius. You guys are like my hidden <laughs> love sign. I love Aquarius. They're just always somewhere in the shadows and hard to find or meet. I think I've met three or four Aquariuses in my entire life, which is crazy. Whatever. And I have a brother and sister who were born two days apart who are Aquariuses. So I love Aquariuses. So you guys, I hope you guys like that. Remember me next month when you're looking around in your board and you need some whatever support. Remember me. Come look for me. You guys take care. Bye-bye.